<laughs> All right. If you can wrestle anybody in the world, dead, live, present, past, future, who would it be? In weight class. Uh, Mercy. Probably, probably go with Kale. Uh, I was like a, two matches. I was two wins away at the Omaha Open from getting to wrestle him. And yeah. uh, I always laugh. I probably would have been on the back of his shirt the 159. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't beating him. But I think it would be pretty cool to wrestle Kale, one of the greatest ever. Yeah. Now, Kale, Kale's a monster, man. You know, have you ever been to his camp? I haven't made it out there, no. Uh -uh. So I was up there working at his camp. I saw Kale in one day. I saw him give a tour to beat the streets of Penn State. Come run a session at seven o'clock. I think it was like seven, maybe nine o'clock, nine to 11, ran a session, drilled with Kirk Levette for like an hour hard. Yeah. Came back at like one and ran another session at the camp, then ran the RTC practice, warmed up with Kyle Snyder Jeez. hard, yeah. wrestled two live matches, two matches with Kyle Snyder, then two matches with the RTC guys, Jeez. came back that night. And instead of running a session, he wrestled every kid in the camp. It was like a long line. It was 400 kids in the camp. Wow. And this dude's a freak of nature. I like, I saw this dude lifting up wrestling mats. I'm like, okay, I see why he wins now. Like, yeah, I was going to say, the guy's a grinder, man. It's unbelievable. A grinder. And he's a freak athlete. I think people, yeah. I didn't know he was so athletic. Like, this dude is athletic. Yeah. Like, he, he's real athletic. So I, I think I was sleeping on his athleticism, but yeah. you can't go 159 and 0. Without being athletic, so absolutely. 